Hello. It's a cold morning today and um, I'm just out in my local woods having a hike and I'm just having a rest here at the moment so I kind of thought I'll show you guys um, what knife I got with me today, um, pocket knife that is. I've seen on the internet a lot of um, fancy knives being carried by so-called preppers and survivalists and God knows what else. A lot of them are very fancy, um, you know, with titanium metal and fancy woods and um, a lot of them look like something that um, came out of Star Trek you know something that Klingon warriors would carry around with them I'm not really into that kind of stuff myself I'm more of a um, I guess a traditionalist I prefer the old style knives or army surplus so what I got with me today is an army surplus knife nothing fancy it's a um, British army knife um, clasp knife pocket knife whatever you want to call it just has two blades on it and it's made out of um, nothing fancy it's just stainless steel uh, mine is dated 1989 and I'm not sure who the um, company is it's uh, marked um, GI brackets S um, L and then it has the uh, NATO stock number on it but I've had it for a few years and um, it's a really good knife actually for what it is so the first blade is nothing really special it's just a, um, a can opener um, quite useful to have if you're a soldier I guess opening up K rations or what have you ammo tins anything like that but the actual blade itself is a um, I think it's about 2.75 inches in length as I say it's made out of uh, stainless steel and the blade actually maintains a very good um, blade um, very good edge on it if you take your time to sharpen the uh, the blade it's a really sharp um, knife in fact sharp enough to um, shave with um, not that I've ever tried to shave with it but um, so as I say nothing special about these knives as I say mine is dated 1989 but um, they go back to um, the late 40s this particular design and this design came in two um, versions the army one which is the um, version I've got uh, which just has the M2 blades on it but there's also a, um, a navy um, version which has a, um, a big spike on it uh, which I believe is called a, um, a Merlin spike and they were used to unravel ropes um, but the um, history of the knives go back way back before 1947 um, they originally first came out in the early part of the um, 20th century I think the first proper British Army knife came out in something like 1900 or 1905 and they were slight they were similar to these but they had different grips on them as I say mine is a late 80s version and um, it's a handy knife to have if you're out and about in the woods or if you're camping it has a very good sharpness to it and it's a very useful tool to carry with you it's um it isn't a lightweight by all by no means I mean it weighs I don't know maybe two three ounces whatever and it has a lanyard ring on the back of it so you can tie it to a string and um, have it more secure um, there's a little um, instruction on the side here to oil the um, joints um, you really need to keep the um, joints oiled because they the knife becomes very stiff otherwise it's not a lock um, blade it's um, doesn't have a locking mechanism to it but the um, the um, joints keep a very firm grip on the um, blade so it's quite a hard knife sometimes to close and you really got to be careful you don't cut your finger with it I mean it's a very stiff um, action to it but I mean I've seen worse but um, it's what the um, British call um, UK legal so it's um, a knife I can carry in this country legally without getting hassled by the uh, police um, because the blade is below um, three inches and it's non-locking um, so ah, there you go I always wanted a um, army Camillus knife but um, the Camillus 
very similar to the um, Boy Scout knife I had a, as a kid. Um, I had an Ulster um, Boy Scout folding knife. Um, but compared to the uh, Camilla's um, US military knife, this blade is a lot firmer and a lot sharper. Um, so, I have nothing really against anything negative to say about the knife. It does what it does. It's a tool and it, um, it's a handy little thing. I'm not quite sure if the um, British military still use or get issued this knife, but um, I see there's a lot of them um, being made for the uh, civilian market by the um, same company that made the originals. Um, the civilian versions have British Army knife um, engraved on the side of it, but they're still exactly the same as the original British Army knives. So I hope you find that useful, and um, thank you for joining me. Thank you.